Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells. I'm a senior 3D artist. In this quick tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at a feature in 3D Studio Max that is often underused and underrated, but is actually a very effective little tool within 3D Studio Max. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Create tab. I'm going to create a cylinder. I'm just going to click it and drag in my viewport, and then I'm going to drag up. All right, if we look into perspective, there's our cylinder. The cylinder has 18 sides, it has five height seg segments, and only one cap segment. I'm going to go ahead and maximize my viewport. So here you have just a basic cylinder in Max. I'm going to go ahead and right click and go convert edible poly. We want that to be an edible poly. Nice, simple. Okay. All right. So a very simple tool in 3D Studio Max is a thing called the FFD box or the freeform deformation box. On my modifier list is this button right here. If your modifier uh, uh, buttons are not showing, you can just right click. For instance, this is what your uh, Max usually looks like. It doesn't have the, the buttons showing. So if you want to get to the freeform deformation box, you can just click your box there, uh, the, the, the arrow there, and go over to the sec second choice, which is the freeform deformation box. That adds a this particular lattice. It's a uh, soft selection lattice. It creates it over the entire object, and it's basically saying, okay, what do you want to do? How do you want to man ma manipulate your particular model? Okay. The nice thing is, is you can set the number of points. So if I click on this, you can set the length, the width, and the height. They can all be something separate. In this instance, for our height, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five segments. So we're going to try and maybe make sure we're going to match that. So we're going to do five. I'm going to change the length to three and the width to three, and then hit OK. Now, as you can see, we now have one, two, three, four. Oops. Sorry, we're off on one. Let's go ahead and change this to six just to make sure we've got this right. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. Didn't quite work that way. All right, so we've now got six. We've got three, three, and six. Now, that means that I can at any point, by clicking on this little plus key next to the FFD box, there's control points. I can grab any one of these points, lock it just to make sure we've got it, and hit my transform tool which is X and I can pull this out or in as I need to okay I can if I want when I unlock I can grab all of these and pull them out okay if you don't want if you want the uh, the if the affected area to be farther down your cylinder instead of it being just segmented out we can easily just change the numbers here we we'll go back down to four and as you can see when I grab these top here again to move them you'll see a much broader area you see not just the top edge loop is being affected but so is the second one and the third slightly if you want to change that so it's even more do three. I'll grab the top one, and again, as you can see, now look how it stretches. It's actually affecting almost to the bottom edge loop down here. Okay. But freeform deformations are a great way to augment certain parts, certain parts of your model or the model itself. Okay. Let's go to our our front view over here, and we'll scale this out a little bit. This is our left view, and our top. Uh, let's go ahead and change this we'll to put this back to six. Okay, so what I can do is I can grab all of the top three tiers and lock them. All right, I can go for a rotate, and I can go ahead and do a rotate, and then I can move. Let's do this this way. Let's get an X and Y. And you see that I can affect a nice area and do a nice pull on that. 
All right, I can grab this one. We can go ahead and do another rotate. I can do another move. There we go. X and Y. And you can see where you can easily start to affect a whole big area on your model as you need to. I'm just holding my control key and grabbing each one of those. Now I'm going to pull those out. I'm going to go ahead and do a rotate on them. Oops, let's make sure we're going to rotate on the Z. There we go. As you can see, I can affect this really quickly, really nicely. And I can turn around and do all sorts of things with this freeform, de freeform deformation. I can control the, the points. I can control how it affects things. I can zoom in a little bit. Let's go ahead and, and I'm going to hold my control key. I'm just going to grab those. We're going to lock them. We're going to move them out. And we're going to rotate again around. So very quickly, you can see how you can make, in this, ca in this case, if I wanted to, to create the basis for a pipe or something that had an edge, it's very simple to turn around and use the freeform deformation box to, to alter some of that. The nice thing is, is you can do it from multiple angles. Let's assume for a second I want to affect all of the back side vertices. Go ahead and lock that and do a quick rotate on that. Let's, for instance, and we'll pull that out a little bit, let's say. Now, if you look at the shape, it's really an odd shape, but you know who knows? Maybe that's a shape you're looking to try and create. So you can affect bigger areas with less control points, or you can affect small areas with more control points where you can turn around and decide which vertices go forward. In fact, let's do another one really quickly. I'm going to grab just those faces. I want just these. I'm going to go ahead and now pull that forward. I'm going to grab those vertices and pull that forward. So again, there you go. Very quickly, very easily, you can affect a mesh with the freeform deformation box. It's a great tool. I use it for all sorts of things. If you want to convert to an edible uh, poly again, you can do a shortcut or again, you can always just right click, hold, convert to an edible poly. That now makes what you were doing in the freeform deformation box real. It's now fixed. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at another model. This is a shark model. All right. So here you go. The nice thing about the freeform deformation is if I'm in my left view, for instance, and let's say I want to affect only polys up here. Now, it doesn't matter whether I'm in, in vertices or faces. I could do this. If I then go to my modifier tab and click an FFD box, check that out. It adds an FFD box just to what was selected. So I'm only affecting the vertices in here. And again, I can set my number of points. I can, let's say, for instance, let's drop this down to 2, 2, and 2. Hit OK. All right. I'll grab the control point. For instance, this particular one, I can lock it. And now I can turn around and pull out. Look how that's affecting such a broad area. All right. Very simply, very easily, I can turn around and, and, and do so much with this. And there's often times when you might want to affect a particular part of your model, etc. The nice thing is, 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 is this is any one of it. As soon as I'm done, I can right click. Convert to an edible poly. Let's say, uh, you know, I want the tail. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I was on the element, the whole thing. So here's the tail. Again, modifier, FFD box. It gives me my default. Let's assume I'm going to leave that there for now. Let's go ahead and do the control points. All right. So we're just going to move these up. And I'll move this over. Move that down, you know something like that. I mean, I don't know. It's whatever you want to try and do. You can actually adjust some of this where it's connected. See, so you might make it flow a little bit better, but it won't strongly affect anything too much outside of the FFT box. But you can see very quickly, you can turn around and change your model as you need to on the fly using the FFT box. Looks god awful for that particular model, but you understand the point. You can affect the entire model itself by adding a freeform deformation box and work from there. Or you can grab just 
again, it could be just vertices. You can grab just vertices if you want. You can grab edges if you want. And go to your modifier tab, FFD box, and there you go. You can affect just that. Grab these vertices. Let's say we're going to lock them. We're going to go ahead and rotate them and move them just like that. And the nice thing is, is, is I can continue to affect these, holding my control key down to, to lock, uh, to add to those. I can rotate again and move it down again. When I'm done, right click, convert to an editable poly, for instance. Or there are some times when, in fact, I keep the FFD, FFD box on permanently because I can always go in and adjust as I need to. So again, that's a very quick introduction to the freeform deformation box in 3D Studio Max. It's on your modifier list. It's the second one on the list, the FFD box. That's the Freeform Deformation box. I hope you guys have had fun with this. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and this has been 3DMotive.com. Thanks for watching.